Hello, science students. Today, this is the demonstration for the effective temperature on cloud formation. What we have is two bottles, or we have a bottle. We have cold water, we have hot water. And we're going to see what the difference between the two of them are when we're creating clouds in the bottle. So we're going to start out with the hot water, or the cold water, and you can see uh, that I am wearing goggles for when we deal with the fire, and, or we're going to be using fire today, and we're going to be using hot, very, very hot water, so you got to be very careful with that. But I'm going to put the cold water in the bottle, okay? And first of all, I just want to show you what happens. I'm going to shake it vigorously for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. And I'm going to squeeze it. I'm going to let it go. I'm going to squeeze it. I'm going to let it go. And you can see what's going on when I squeeze it. I'm going to let it go. Okay. So that is without a match, of course. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add some cloud nuclei to our bottle. And the way you do this is you just light a match. You blow out the thing and then just suck a little bit of the ash inside, or just a little bit of smoke inside. Now we're going to do that again. We're going to shake the bottle vigorously for 10 seconds. And then we're going to push in and we're let out. Push in, let out. So watch what happens when I push in. Look at what's inside the bottle. See the air inside the bottle? And then we're going to let out. Okay? So that's what we do. Okay, so that's the cold water bottle. Now we're wa working with a hot water bottle. Oop, be careful. Okay, and I'm going to put that still very hot. Okay. I'm going to take another match. I'll blow in and then stick a little bit of it inside. Put the cap, tap, cap on tight. Shake it vigorously for 10 seconds. Okay, now watch what happens. I'm going to push in and let out. Look, what, look at the inside of the bottle. Push in, let out. Let me see if I can clean off some of the sides. Push in, let out. Push in, let out. And as I let go of the bottle here, top of the bottle, look what's happening at the top of the bottle. That is not smoke. How do I know it's not smoke? Because when I press in, the smoke would still stay there. Unfortunately, it gets the, the air gets clear when you press in, and then it gets cloudy when you let go. So and you can also see the clouds coming out. Okay, okay, guys. I uh, for the rest of the labs, you're going to have to go to or uh, get your or use your lab sheet and go through, answer the questions, the questions and conclusions at the end of the lab sheet. So you're going to be using this lab sheet, the effective temperature on cloud formation, and you're going to be doing the lab sheet. Unfortunately, you're not going to be able to do the uh, temperature thing or the well, you could ob you could do the observations at the top. We don't really have the temperature on here. Okay, well, good luck. I hope you do well. Thank you for paying attention.